We're we don't want, we're on we're on live. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the show. It's Bruce here, traveling with Bruce in good old Creston, BC. How are you guys today? Welcome to Monday, July the twenty third. I'm just looking over at my notes. July twenty third. Uh, wow, <laughs> time is just going. Unbelievable. I hope you had a good weekend out there. Thanks for joining me on my show, my live show, Monday's live show. I'm on Monday to Friday at 5 o'clock in the evening. Tuesdays, Thursdays, I throw in a trivia show at 8 o'clock at night. Uh, if you want to test your little knowledge about uh, some trivia facts, I cover, you name it, all kinds of topics. Uh, come on by Monday, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 o'clock Eastern. We have a lot of fun, unless there's some breaking cruise news, and I'll be doing that, of course, as well. Saturdays, I'm on at 2 in the afternoon. And here we are again on Monday at 5 o'clock. Welcome to the show, and uh, I'm glad you're here. We love talking about cruise ships, cruise ship vacations, ideas, uh, uh, new things happening, new ships, news, anything, anything to do with cruising and traveling. That's what we're here for, and I'm glad you guys pop in. If you've never been here before, welcome. If you've been here before and it's been a while, welcome back. And if you were just here on Saturday, well, it's good to see you guys again. <laughs> Great to have everybody here. I love doing this. Uh, this channel is uh, going to be one year old on August the uh, 12th or so. Uh, that's going to be my one year anniversary that I started this channel. And uh, when I left the air on Saturday afternoon, we were at uh, 2,393 subscribers. We're now at 24, 14, huh, 21 subscribers have jumped on board in the last uh, 48 hours or so. Isn't that great? This is fantastic. Welcome all you new subscribers. If you're watching me live, I'm really glad you're here. If you're watching me on the rerun because you can't watch me live because you're working or you're in your car or you forgot or whatever, welcome to the show even now. I'm glad you're watching no matter when you're watching this show. It's fantastic. Those who are watching live are signing in or saying hi to me. They're probably sending me a message right now telling me how they're doing. Uh, tell me where are you watching me from? Tell me what's your high temperature today? Uh, let's compare some notes. Uh, where I am here in, in Creston, uh, British Columbia, uh, we are approaching about 80, 82. Not as hot as we were last week. However, we are about to hit, in the next week, we may hit 99 or 98 degrees here, which for Creston, British Columbia, is pushing the limits uh, of uh, high end, uh, the high end uh, high temperatures. But for you folks down in the States, I know some of you down there are used to 100 plus every day. It's what you're getting. It's what you've been getting already for almost a month. Uh, but up here in Canada, that's <laughs> a bit much. Um, I want to thank everybody for supporting this channel, as I always like to do. Um, had an email yesterday from Tom Henry. I just saw Tom Henry's name there. Tom was already here. Hi, Tom. Uh, Tom sent me a message yesterday. He says, Bruce, I just bought a camera on Amazon. I want you to know. I bought a camera with some accessories. You, sh you should be getting a commission for that because of the affiliate uh, thing you got. I made sure to go through the affiliate link for your channel. And sure enough, this morning I uh, fired up the old Amazon uh, link and took a look. And there's the order. He put an order in. It's there. I guess it ships probably today. And the next day or two, there will be a finder's fee or commission coming to the channel uh, because of that purchase. And thank you, Tom, very much for thinking about us uh, here at Traveling with Bruce, uh, this is fantastic. I told Jennifer what was going on. My my wife that you haven't seen because she looks just like Jennifer Aniston. Yes, she does. Yeah, sure she does. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Jen was just tickled. She thought, that's fantastic. Isn't that great? Isn't that wonderful? So uh, thank you very much for the heads up and, and putting that order in there. Any of you folks buy anything on Amazon, use our link if you can. The affiliate link is just below in the description down here. Uh, we earn a finder fee on anything you buy on Amazon. Doesn't cost you any more or less. Makes no difference to you guys. But uh, they pay finders fees for people who refer business their way. And folks are using the affiliate link from Traveling with Bruce. Thank you very much. Every little bit helps. So thank you for that. Also, thank you out there for the folks who are uh, picking up Traveling with Bruce merchandise. Uh, got about 35 different designs now, different logos, uh, almost 35 different logos. I got a couple in the wings ready to go in in the next few days. Uh, we have t-shirts, we have hoodies, we have sweatshirts, we have coffee mugs. See the coffee mug back there? I'll show you another coffee mug right here. There's another logo right here. You can get that on a t-shirt or on this coffee mug, or you can get it on a travel mug, or you can get it as a sticker, or you can get it on a wall clock, or you can get it on... Could be uh, some In some cases, some of the logos I have, you can get up to 42 different items with that logo on it. It's just... It's, it's unbelievable. Cheers, everybody. Brown fuzzy water, my diet caffeine-free cola there. Um, 
The folks at Redbubble are the folks who handle all of my merchandise product. Um, all I do is I send a logo in there that's going to go on this stuff. You folks go to the Redbubble store, which you can find in the link below or on my homepage right up here. There's a little icon up here. You go in there and you can look all you want at every design I've made. If you got the time, I don't. I don't know if anybody has the time because to look at 35 logos, it's going to take you like two hours. I don't. Know, who's got that kind of time? But anyway, you can see all the logos on the front page, different kind, what they look like. You decide which one you like. You click on that logo, and they'll show you everything you can buy with that logo on it. And uh, you put an order in. These folks at Redbubble, they take your order, they take your payments, they make the item, they ship the item. They send you an email with all that information. They give you tracking numbers. Uh, you can follow your, your package right from them to you. It's usually two, three days if it's in the US. If you're in Canada, you don't pay duties because they make the product in Canada, send it to you within Canada. If you make the order of the product in the US, it's made in the US and sent to you there. So they're employing Americans or employing Canadians. Uh, it's fantastic. If you're in Australia, they make it for you in Australia. You don't pay duties and customs because it's all domestic. It's incredible. I just love this thing. It's fantastic. Then you get the product. And if you're happy, fantastic. If you're not, they'll take care of you. You need got the wrong size or something, they'll take care of you. I can't foul it up. It's perfect. I don't touch anything. I get a royalty for every item that sells. And uh, I say thank you very much to them and to you for any of you who are picking up the merchandise for Traveling with Bruce. This is fantastic. I'm putting together a, a couple of logos for the first anniversary of the channel, the anniversary logos. And they'll be out shortly. And if you want to get your hands on an anniversary logo, Traveling with Bruce uh, item, keep your eyes open. I'll keep you guys posted on what's happening there. Okay, so that's another way this channel is being supported. Some folks are using Patreon to help me. There's a, there's a Patreon site also on my homepage, the logo up there. And then there are the folks who are, uh, uh, out of the goodness of their hearts, they are sending me direct donations through PayPal. There's a PayPal logo up here. And uh, folks are sending me donations through PayPal uh that is the preferred method i uh, seek donations for anything because you can make a donation to me on this show if you want to through super chat you can do it if you do that though i only get 70 percent of the uh, amount uh 30 percent goes to the fees and the handling of it all uh <laughs> but uh if you send funds through uh through uh, paypal i get the funds instantly 94, 95% of the funds are, are available to us, uh, to, to Jennifer and I, and it's instantaneous, and you can make a donation anytime you want, day or night, 24 hours, seven days a week. You don't have to do it just during the show because the Super Chat only works when I'm on the air through this chat feature. So thank you one and all for uh, all of your help and support, encouragement. I love it and uh, keeps us going. We just paid the internet bill this morning, so we're on another month. <laughs> Won't get cut off from the internet. Working on the phone bill, and uh, then there's the groceries and everything else. So we're working it, and it's coming along. So thank you, everybody. I am I am monetized, just so you know. I am monetized on YouTube after not being monetized for 120 days. I was kicked off in uh, February when they changed the rules. And uh, even though I felt I had made a 1,000 subscribers and everything else, I thought we had done it. Uh, but they put us under review. It's supposed to last a week. Went 120 days before we were re-monetized. That's now about a month ago. Thank goodness for that. And about $3, $4 a day of advertising revenue seems to be generated right now by this little old channel. Every little bit helps. We say thank you, YouTube, for that. And there you go. So there you go. Uh, let me bring the camera in a little bit, the computer, everything here. And uh, I can now read messages that have been coming in from my viewers. I can say hi to everybody that's here. I've got a few things to talk about today. I've got some princess news. I've got some news out of the Dominican Republic. And uh, we'll talk cruising. Anything you want to talk to me about? You got questions about going on a, sh on a on a cruise? Anything you want to know about some cruise lines? Uh, fire away. Uh, let me know and let's talk. Uh, there's always stuff going on. Tom Henry, he signed in today saying, hey, it's a little warm here today. Can you turn the air conditioning up a little bit? I did here. I'll tell you that. Uh, we are keeping cool inside the house. Uh, Peter Heckema. Uh, hi, Bruce. Um, a beautiful day now in Tarpon Springs, sunny and 93 degrees, but we have some bad thunderstorms overnight. A little trivia for you. Tampa Bay is the lightning capital of the world. I did not know that. Uh, fantastic. Or is it fantastic? It's just the way it is. Uh, what are you going to do? Peter, hang in there, buddy. Uh, stay out of those storms and uh, enjoy the weather when you get it. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, we had some good, new, good, good, we had some good storms last night. And again, this morning, 
uh, poor pool penny didn't want to come out from under the bed this morning that's her normal sleeping spot i can see that robert brandt is here hey robert hi bruce i all 87 in st thomas the US virgin islands the carnival fascination is in port with 2056 on board welcome robert back to the show good to see you buddy glad you're here wes morrison 103 here in new Braunfels, texas i'm keeping cool and i'm excited to watch your show wes uh, you darn right to stay cool in there uh, stay indoors keep the fan on keep the air on Keep drinking, stay hydrated. Uh, good to have you back. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel Saboti is here today. Hi, all. How you doing there, buddy? Welcome back. And Jordan, good morning, Bruce. And, and all, it's 25 Celsius in Brisbane today. Espresso is in hand. It's early in the morning in Brisbane, Australia, folks. Uh, it's 5 New York time. It's probably 4 or 5 in the morning, Australia time. Uh, welcome, Ann Jordan, to the show. Um, as she's saying hi to everybody. Emmanuel, Bruce, would I need a travel visa for every port I decide to go on excursions for? I have, again, a Ghanaian passport. Uh, Emmanuel, um, my guess, or well, my answer to you is this. I can't answer the question for, in your case because I don't know the Ghanaian passport, you know, scenario. But I would probably, um, let me think a minute now. Uh, I would hope that the uh, Ghanaian government has its own website and it would uh, uh, clarify for you there the, uh, the your passport uh, uh you know, what, what countries can you enter without a visa and so on. Uh, but I'll say this, uh, if you are booking a cruise through a cruise line, through a travel agent or through the, the internet, like say online through one of the cruise lines, you can do online check-in. And that's, of course, I recommend you do that uh, months before your cruise if you can, as soon as possible. Uh, and when you do that, um, they will, of course, ask for your name and address and that stuff, but they'll ask you for your passport uh, and your passport number, what country it was issued in, what number is it. And I believe, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a leap here, leap of faith, but I believe that if you're into uh, a, a website for one of the major cruise lines and you enter your country, uh, the passport that your country is issued from um, and its number, then you go through the uh, the uh, continued online check-in process. I suspect that um, the computer already knows your book. You've already booked your cruise. Uh, it's all these ports here. Uh, your passport will the computer will know which uh, countries you'll need a visa from and which ones you don't. Now, they may help you with that through the cruise line directly. They may not. You might need the services of a local-based uh, travel agent who would be an expert, obviously. It, on your behalf for your fellow countrymen uh if you're in uh if you're in ghana as it is um but um that would be my first my couple of my recommendations check the government website for for ghana uh um maybe you can call the 800 number perhaps for the cruise lines too that's another idea where you can actually talk to a person or send them an email and say to them look i'm thinking about a cruise that would go you know from here to this stop to this stop to this stop and end here do I have visa requirement issues, that type of thing, and they will get back to you. Uh, otherwise, I would use the services of a local travel agent who is proficient in uh, the affairs of uh, travel uh, needs and documents for someone from Ghana. So that would be this guy's recommendation. Give that a shot. Let's see what happens. Uh, cross our fingers. Hope for the best. Robert Brandt saying hi, Ann. And Jordan is here saying hi to Emmanuel. Or Robert Brandt. Uh, very good question. He's saying, uh, Tracy uh, is here. Hi, Bruce and all. Hope everyone had a good weekend. 92 in Naples, Florida today. A little rain earlier. Welcome, Tracy. Welcome back. And thank you for your recent donation on my uh, on my uh, PayPal uh, thing. I thank you so much. I really appreciate you for that. Steve Bartley, a cloudy 74 today in Greenlee, Colorado. Steve, welcome back, pal. Ni Nina is here. Uh, good afternoon. I am new to your YouTube channel. I just subscribed today. I am in San Diego uh low 90s here for the high we'll be leaving on a cruise to tahiti in 27 days on the wind star cruise line now that's gonna be awesome that's gonna be fantastic uh welcome to the channel i'm glad you're here uh nina um or nina i'm not sure how to pronounce it so i'm kind of winging it uh but thank you for coming by and spending some time with us if you have any questions about cruising please let me know uh, the gang will say hi to you here uh, you're more than welcome to come by here. This is fantastic. Steve Bartley, Emmanuel, you will have to check with your government. Steve Bartley, Nina, is there any onshore breeze or is it all offshore out of San Diego? He wants to know. I live in the northeast. She says, uh, live in northeast county. We'll get a nice onshore breeze except during Santa Ana's. That is how that works down there. Tom Henry, hi, all. I'm back from my drive home from work 
82 Fahrenheit in Richmond now, 27.7 Celsius. Tom Henry, welcome back, buddy. Good to have you here. Thanks for placing that order for that camera. That's fantastic. Uh, Paul Wilkes, hi, Bruce and all. Uh, 79 and sunny, but supposed to have rain for the next three days. Well, that'll keep the dust down, I guess. Uh, Nina is saying when it comes in from the desert, uh, that's that's right. That's the wind, the Santa Ana as it comes in from the desert. Emmanuel, uh, Ghana is allowed into 66 country, countries visa-free, whereas USA is allowed into 165. Yeah, I know. Uh, Canada has a high number too, sir, and uh, you're going to have to definitely check with professionals who know on your case uh, for your, uh, for your uh, you know, whether you need visa requirements or not. Scott Weber, hi, Bruce. It's 78 and sunny here in Palos Verdes. Fantastic, Scott. That's not bad weather at all. Uh, Nina, you, Bruce, you have a nice way about you. I enjoy your channel. Thank you very much. I do the best I can with what little I have. I have little hair. <laughs> Fading looks. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still laughing. And what can I say? I'm doing the best I can with what I got. Uh, I have a very forgiving audience. As you can plainly see here, they tolerate this old guy in his living room in front of a computer uh, wearing his uh, Traveling with Bruce t-shirt. And uh, they just keep asking me for more. What can I say? I do the best I can. Debbie Emmanuel, one of my favorites. Debbie is here. Hi, everyone. Hi, Bruce. Above 100 again today in Chico, Northern California. Welcome back, Debbie. I've been watching your postings on the Facebook group page for Traveling with Bruce. Those of you who don't know, Traveling with Bruce has its own group page on Facebook. And folks like Debbie and Tom Henry and others have been posting photos of their holidays that they've had over the years, their favorite cruises. Pictures of cruise ships are on there. Stories, uh, questions, you name it. If you're addicted to cruising, you got to go to Traveling with Bruce because uh, when I'm off the air, we're hanging out on Facebook, uh, keeping on top of things there. So come on over and join the join the group. I'd love to have you join in. And uh, Debbie is one of the folks who are there. Thank you, Debbie, for coming by and all your posts and all your support for my channel. Tom Henry, welcome. Uh, ni Ta Tahiti, wow, that sounds great. Uh, which cruise line? Uh, I think she said, uh, winds, wasn't it Windstar Line? Uh, is that cruise ship leaving? Where's it leaving from? Are you, I don't know if you're leaving from San Diego or L.A. or where are you headed out from? Let us know. And uh, yeah, the gang will be kind of curious about that. Uh, Nina, I have a suggestion. Please put more links in your description, such as your Facebook page and other social media. You are on and links to anything that you can. Uh, you mentioned your feed. Very well done. Um, that is something I am learning as well, Nina. It is early days for me still. I do have the Facebook page. I do have a Twitter. I have uh, Instagram. I've got uh, Pinterest. Um, and I do have on the bottom so far in my description just uh, links to the Amazon site for the for the affiliate program. I've got a link there to um, – I've got an email. I've got my email in there. I also put in something else. What the heck was it, Bruce? Uh, oh, when you get old, you forget. Oh, uh, the Redbubble store. I have the link for that. But I will start adding the uh, the Facebook and the uh, the Twitter and the other – it's just so much to do in such a little time frame. Even though this is my full-time job, I, I don't have a regular job. This is all I do. I, I do this 10, 12 hours a day with a nap or two from time to time to kind of catch up. I get up super early in the morning because I just can't sleep uh, past certain hours. But at this age, you just don't get 10 hours of sleep anymore at a time. And so I'm up early and I'm working. But that will happen. And I thank you for reminding me. It will It will be done. Uh, Rob Sauter. Afternoon, Bruce. 81 in Lancaster, PA. Rob, welcome back to the show. Nice to have you here. Not bad for 81 degrees in PA. That's okay. We'll take that uh, weather. Tom Henry, I'm blowing some cooler uh, VA air to you, Debbie. <laughs> uh, Emmanuel saying, welcome, Nee. Uh, cruise line is Windstar, Nina saying. Uh, Seakeeper, hi, Bruce and all. We reached 95 degrees earlier today. It cooled down to 86 in the last hour. Bad weather is on the way. Thumbs up. Uh, good Costco trip. Yes, we had a good Costco trip. That's right. I told you guys on Saturday after the show, I was going to Costco. And uh, big news out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, two hours, 20 minutes from my house is the Costco in Coeur d'Alene. Went down there and uh, holy moly macaroni. Uh, we, um, we found out. Uh, let me just see if I get my photos to pop up here. Here we go. I got to the counter at the food court there, and I get my usual chicken bake. Jennifer gets her usual uh, hot dog, which comes with a soda, as you know, if you're Costco folks. Uh, but the last uh, couple times we were down there, I was uh, lamenting the fact that they have discontinued offering the very berry sundae. They only have the plain vanilla yogurt sundae, 
but no no berries in it. They, they don't do that anymore. Well, guess what? I'm standing in line. I get to the front of the line when I see the sign saying, Berry Berry Sunday. I'm going, oh, what happened? So I'm asking the, the person behind the counter. I think it was a gal behind the counter this time. And I said, well, you got the Berry Berry Sunday again? She says, yeah. She says, we took that away like three weeks ago. You should have seen the complaint box. The suggestion box was overflowing with complaints. People were upset. They took the Sunday away. It's back. We brought it back. So at least in the Coeur Lane location, they got the Berry Berry Sunday. Well, just to prove to you that it's the real deal, look at that. Thumbs up from yours truly. There's my Berry Berry Sunday right on the counter in the Costco store with that machine right behind it. Oh, was that delicious on a 90-degree day to have the Berry Berry Sunday. I'm very happy. Way to go, Costco. I made a tweet on the spot. I tweeted that photo on Twitter on uh, on Saturday afternoon from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, on my Twitter account. Let the world in on it. I think I've had two or 300 views of that tweet. A <laughs> couple of thumbs ups on the tweet. People were happy to see that. Uh, now the Polish dog. Uh, are there enough people who care to save the Polish hot dog, or is it gone forever? I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'll tell you, when Costco changes stuff, it has an impact. Uh, people kind of go, hey, what's up with that? But the rest of Costco, the rest, the rest of the trip was great. The whole trip was great. We had a wonderful day on Saturday. We got down. I got some cheap Costco gas, two ninety nine a gallon, by the way, in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, U.S. a gallon for gasoline. Um, I saved a good dollar, probably a dollar a gallon compared to what I normally pay. So it was nice to do that and come back with some provisions, including that gorgeous, fantastic premium vanilla Costco premium Costco premium vanilla ice cream. Hard to say that, but easy to eat. Costco ice cream. Uh, it's uh, absolutely wonderful. You buy two big containers for about 14 bucks. You get a whole, it's a gallon of ice cream for 14 bucks and it's premium stuff, really high end. It gives you these big cheeks and gives you this big belly and it insulates you against the cold Canadian weather. You got to love it. Uh, folks, you ever want a good ice cream, you buy that ice cream, take it home with you. You're going to love it. Anyway, there you go. Tom Henry. Hi, Rob. How are the barnstormers? My original home was New Holland. Ah, there you go. Uh, let's see here. Diane Sanders. Uh, hi, a cooler. Diane Sanders saying a cooler 75 degrees in Indiana today. Just returned from flying to Grand Cayman Islands. I saw a cruise ship and I can't wait for my February 2019 cruise to Hawaii. And I have Sanders. I used to live in the Cayman Islands. How long were you down there for? Where were you staying? What did you do? Talk to me. Come on. Talk to me. What happened in the Caymans? Debbie Emanuel. Thanks, Thomas. I sure I sure hope uh, Tour Cool Air will make it for me. <laughs> Stay cool, Debbie. Hang in there. Seakeeper, a trip on the weekend. How does the ice cream not melt on the way back? I love my travel mug, and it will come with me on the NCL getaway in 34 days. He's got a traveling with Bruce travel mug. Um, we take a cooler with us. We actually take a cooler in the trunk of the car, and we put the ice cream in the bottom of the cooler with the in the box that it's in. It fits perfectly on the bottom with almost no room around the sides. Then we bought some cheese. We bought some butter. We had some frozen veggies. Put that all in there. Put the lid on it. Shut that thing down. It stayed cool. By the time we got home, right into the freezer, and no worries whatsoever. All is well, even in these temperatures. And wintertime, of course, it's a breeze because it's in the trunk, and it's you know 30 degrees outside. Everything stays cold. But in the summer, a cooler works great anyway. We always use a cooler all year round. So that's how I do it, Seakeeper. All is well there. And Jordan, morning, Debbie, Tracy, Paul, Steve, Scott. Uh, Anne is the official greeter. Uh, kind of, she's sort of self-anointed. Uh, of the channel, and she says hi to everybody, and folks say hi back to her too. Um, Seakeeper, what, 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 what are you saying? Have you have you had too many logos for your merch? I don't think that's possible. The more the better. You ask me. Oh, there are. There's no way I got too many. Seakeeper, there's no way I have too many logos. I'm always interested in more logos for the channel. Any of you folks out there have an idea or suggestion for a logo for traveling with Bruce? You let me know. Uh, and I'll work to get, I'll try to find a way to see if we can put that logo together and get it out there. If it's got any merit to it, any hope at all, I'm happy to put it out there. We've come up with all kinds of ideas using anchors and steering wheels from ships. And, uh, we've got, uh, I, I, tell you, I, I, I can't even remember all the logos. There's so many of them. They just keep coming. It's like every week, another, another one, another week, another, another one. I love it. Uh, the more variety, the better I say. And we got traveling with Bruce logos going everywhere around the world. And people are showing it off. I thank you very much for that. That's a great way to promote the channel for sure. Um, 
<laughs> what is Tom Henry saying? Tom Henry, let me blow real hard. That's the wolf blowing at three pigs. I do not know what you mean, my friend. Uh, are you trying to spread cool air around? I have no idea what's going on. Debbie Manuel, good morning, Ann. How is your weather today? Still freezing, she says. <laughs> it's in the 20s. It's 70 odd degrees in Melbourne. That's not cold. That's, I'm sorry, that's not cold. It's, it's coolish compared to 100. Well, I'd say it's comfortable as all get up. Uh, but then I'm Canadian. What do I know? Um, <laughs> Tom Henry laughing out loud. And you're almost 80 Fahrenheit. We need to thicken that blood. <laughs> she says, I'm a cold frog. Ah, I just get so cold. What are we going to do? Brittany Lockwood is here. Hi, Brittany Lockwood. She's saying hi, Bruce. And Jordan, morning, Brittany. Brittany, it's 97 and gorgeous outside. I believe she's in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, if I recall. Welcome, Brittany. I have been forgetting to check to see what the temperature and what the weather is like outside. She just logs into the show and forgets to tell me. But today she remembered to tell me how warm it is out there. Welcome, my dear. Cool Jazz is here from New York City. Uh, hell, bro, Bruce. It's uh, hello, happy Monday. 79 in the Big Apple. That's pretty darn nice. 79 in New York. Oh, man, that's fantastic weather. It could be a lot worse than that. Rob Souter, I think you should get a Traveling with Bruce tattoo. <laughs> my buddy and his wife are going on a cruise on the Carnival Dream. And uh, I said, I hope he doesn't have any wet, <laughs> wet dreams. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. What, I'm not getting a tattoo. I, 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 I ain't getting tatted. I ain't getting tatted. No, no, no tatting for me, man. No, thank you. I have enough natural tats that are just coming out of my skin as the aging process begins. So, no, no, thank you. Dina, living life. Hello. Only 95 here in Bakersfield today. Dina, welcome back. From beautiful Bakersfield, California. Nice to have you here. Stay cool. Uh, who's here here? Who's this? Uh, Stiv Stivex. Hi, Bruce. Hi, guys. Hi, Stivex. Cool Jazz. Hello, Ann Jordan. Ann Jordan, great. Cool Jazz. How you doing today? Everyone's saying hi to everybody. Ed Tollison, Jr. Hello, Bruce from Bronx. 82 and muggy today. So 82 and muggy in the Bronx. 79 in uh, another part of New York City. That's not, shouldn't be that bad. But uh, what then? The humidity does play its part. Sharon at Sea is here. Hi, Sharon at Sea. Hi, stopping in today, 100 plus here in Arizona. How are you doing, Sharon at Sea? Great to have you here. Uh, big news for you guys. Uh, Sharon, you've reminded me. I'm so glad you're here. You're the first YouTuber uh, to say hi to me today because it's not unusual for some YouTubers to pop by. Sharon has a channel on YouTube. you got to check her out. Uh, she loves cruising like I do. And uh, there's a video coming out this week that I've been working on now for almost a week. It's a collaboration video, and I've got seven, seven. YouTubers involved, including myself, uh, put, putting this video together. And uh, later this week, I will be bringing it out. As soon as I know the exact moment, I'll give you all a heads up. And uh, I'm excited. Sharon at Sea is one of them. She's in there, and uh, we are having some fun. And I really appreciate it very much that she uh, she was kind enough to respond to my, my question. Would you be interested in doing a collaboration with me? She said, absolutely. And uh, she got to work uh, with her family on the camera, and uh, I got the clips, and we're having fun. I've been working at the uh, the clips. Everyone has sent me. Some of the folks sent me nothing but perfect clips, absolute perfection. Some of them sent me clips with all the outtakes. <laughs> I might have some outtakes. <laughs> Wait, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how long it goes. Anyway, this is going to be fun. Sharon, this is great. Thank you so much for coming by today. And, folks, you get the chance. Check her out. Uh, Nia, 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 Nia is saying, my name is Ren, Rene. It is pronounced like Rini, Nina, Rini. Rin. So your name is Rini, and it's pronounced like Rini, although you call yourself Nini. Okay. I don't, what, do I give you a nickname, or do I still call you Rini? I, I hope I remember this. I, I have an excellent memory, but it's incredibly short. Uh, so Rini, welcome to the show, and thank you for helping me pronounce your name. <laughs> She's saying that her ship uh, departs from uh, uh, Papeete, Papeete, P A P E E T E, flying from LAX. So she's going to go from LAX to Papeete and then from there get on the ship. This is going to be an awesome cruise. Uh, Rene, you've got to send us photos on my uh, Facebook page when you do this cruise. And then you've got to let us know here on the show how it's going. This is something that I bet you none of my cruisers or very few of my regulars have been on a cruise like this. We would love to hear about this. This is fantastic. I'm glad you're here. Peter Heckema, doesn't Windstar Cruises depart from Puerto Rico? Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think they do on uh, some of their ships. Um, uh, welcome, Peter. Um, yeah, I'm sure they do. Robert Brandt, naps are great. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, they are. My dad, when I was a kid, he would take a nap in the afternoon. Uh, we used to, my dad used to own a music store, had the basement uh, full of product, and they had music studios down there. And uh, one of the studios, there was a couch there, and uh, he would go downstairs some days, have like two in the afternoon, he'd take a 20-minute nap. And he would look at me. I'm 17. I'm 17, 18 years old. And, uh, you know, this is, this is what I was like at 17, 18 years old. Just, you know, just like a bumblebee. And he said to me, uh, you know, if you ever get tired, you can go downstairs and have a nap too, you know. And I'm going, have a nap? That's so old man. Like, what are you talking about, Dad? Like, old people do naps. I mean, we're, I'm a kid. I'm just, uh, well, now I'm 62. Uh, naps are great. <laughs> he was taking naps in his 40s. And uh, he knew the value of a power nap. Uh, he, he was, uh, the older the older I got, the smarter he was. That's what I figured out. He, I knew he was a sharp guy, but by the time I turned about 30, he was kind of like a genius. <laughs> he was really smart. Yeah, I kind of missed my dad. Brittany Lockwood, Bruce, you have a lot more social media accounts than what I uh, use and most of my family has. And Brittany, you're just a kid. You're just a kid. Uh, I don't know, I, I'll tell you, a year ago I had nothing. A year ago, I didn't have a Facebook account. I didn't have an Instagram. Uh, I didn't know what a tweet actually was. I, I'd heard of tweets, but what to do with, I, no idea. Face, uh, Facebook, whatever. And, and of course, YouTube. I was watching YouTube videos, but I didn't have a YouTube channel. Yeah, so now I'm, I'm a social butterfly, aren't I? It's unbelievable. Ni, uh, Rini, uh, Windstar does cruising throughout the world. Uh, five small to medium-sized ships. Correct. Brittany Lockwood, uh, that Sunday looks so yummy. It was. It was so yummy. Um, Nini saying, R Rini saying, I was disappointed when Costco discontinued gelato. Yeah, see, they do make changes from time to time. I was disappointed when they switched from Coke to Pepsi. I'm still PO'd about that. I hate the Pepsi. Ugh, miss the Coke. Oh, Robert Brandt, Charlie Bruce mentioned what your brown fuzzy water is or use a can or bottle and I bet in time you'll get some free. I, I tell you, Robert, I, I've done this before. I, I have it right here. I got, the, you know, this is the Canadian can right here. Diet Coke or Coke Diete, you know, Diete. Uh, sans Café, you know, this is the French word. We're in Canada. So this is the Canadian version. Everything bilingual here too. Um, I love this stuff. I, I really do. I've been drinking it for years. Ah, I, I get a kick. When I'm in the United States, I get a kick out of it. When I'm in a 7-Eleven and I go to the fountain uh, fountain department, you know, to get a fountain drink, they have in a number of the 7-Elevens in the U.S. and also the, uh, what's the other one, Circle K's, they've got caffeine-free Diet Coke right at the fountain, like as a fountain drink. That's almost impossible to find in Canada. You can't find caffeine-free in a fountain drink. It's really hard, really tough. But in the States, much easier to find. I love drinking my brown fuzzy water. I do. I do. So, you know, I figured right now I would just promote the, uh, you know, promote the channel, you know, doing this because, you know, that's kind of smart because this pays every time somebody buys one of these things where the folks at Coca-Cola, I've been saying to them on the air, you guys want to work a deal? Uh, I would be more than thrilled to show off this or a Coca-Cola cup or mug or anything like that. I would even I could even put logos on shirts, you know, like I could have a either my logo and your logo or just your logo from time to time. You guys give me a shout out. Let me know what kind of deal we can make. I'm open for business, but um, right now I just gotta drink my brown fuzzy water out of my mug. <laughs> but good suggestion, Robert. I love it. And Jordan agree, Brittany, the Sunday was delicious. Uh Sunday, Sunday, fun day. Um uh, let's see, Dina saying hi, Sharon. Let's see, Tom Henry, Cindy and I went to a nearby farmer's market for produce on Saturday. I was wearing my Costa Rica shirt, and someone walked up to me and asked, uh, asked when I was there. He was a fellow cruiser from Windstar Cruises. Hey, logo shirts really are discussion starter. How about that? See, look at that. Robert Brandt, uh, traveling with Bruce, logo idea, traveling with Bruce, and forgetting Trump. <laughs> Oh, we got to be careful with the Trump. Got to be careful with that. Uh, Paul was laughing out loud. Debbie Manuel, Bruce, Tom Henry's trying to blow cool weather, weather to my side of the country. He's doing the best he can. I know it. Uh, Debbie, hang in there. Robert Brandt, making travel, making America travel, uh, making America travel again at Traveling with Bruce. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just can't go there, Robert. We just got to stay away from that topic. It's too hot. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, 
79 degrees. That is nice and comfortable. Uh, Debbie Manuel, hi, Sharon at Sea. Robert Brent, tattoo comment. I made a bet with Bacardi and company, and I now have a Bacardi 1862 tattoo. That'll teach you. That'll teach you not to make a bet, or, uh, or did you win it? Did you win the bet and get the tattoo, or did you lose the bet and you had to get the tattoo? I, I'm not sure how this works. Jim Thomas, uh, Bruce, 106. And muggy, yucky, I guess, Jim, stay indoors, keep the fan going, get the air on, drink something. <laughs> I order you. <laughs> Brittany Lockwood, I would prefer 79 degrees compared to 97 degrees any day, especially living in Louisiana, especially with all the humidity. Absolutely, Brittany. That has got to be brutal down there. Really hard to take. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, hi, Jim, stay cool. Sharon at sea saying hi, Debbie. Uh, uh, and Jordan, good morning, Sharon at sea. Uh, Jim Thomas, uh, uh, trying Tom and uh, let's see here uh, Sylvia uh, Sylvia's here hey Bruce and all 80 and raining in Greensboro North Carolina Sylvia hi Sylvia welcome to the show thank you again last week you sent me a donation on um, on my uh, my PayPal uh, thank you so much for that again I really appreciate your support and welcome back to the show uh, let's see everyone saying hi to everybody Brittany I prefer Coke any day over Pepsi I cannot do the diet Coke uh, when I was a kid I couldn't do the diet either then I hit my 30s and I noticed that the real thing was kind of hanging around too long. <laughs> Got used to the taste of Diet Coke real quick. Steve Bartley, a friend of mine, was going to be the engineer on a ship to Tahiti. Private ship, not a, not a cruise ship. He backed out when he had no confidence in the skipper. Mm, sure enough, it shipwrecked on an atoll. It ship, shipwrecked on an atoll. Wow. Uh, he had a premonition. He felt it. He knew this, this person was unfit for the captaincy. Well, good move. Good for your buddy there, Steve. Well done. Cool jazz. Today's show is sponsored by Diet Coke. Run out and get a six-pack today. Caffeine-free Diet Coke. Caffeine-free Diet Coke. Get your six-pack today. Robert Brent. Uh, I'm sorry. And uh, <laughs> Jordan, wow. Robert, that would be uh, that would have hurt. I have a Bacardi 1862 bottle. Uh, must take a pick. Tracy uh, at Robert uh, saying, you just can't help yourself, can you? Laugh out loud. She said, <laughs> Robert at Ann Jordan will be doing a video on my upcoming cruise. I'll make sure to show it. Uh, AJ Walsh is here. Hey, AJ, 109 degrees in Vegas. We are in excessive heat warning. Duh, they really don't have to announce that. No kidding. Like, I mean, no kidding. It's Vegas, baby. Uh, don't you know? July, Vegas, desert, hot. Duh, explosion of, wow, well, yeah, heat warning. No kidding. Robert Brent, uh, sorry, uh, Tracy, don't be there next Monday. Um, <laughs> Paul Wilgus, Tracy, he tries, but you know, sometimes the mouth just can't be hushed. <laughs> oh, we're getting shots in today all over the place. I have no filter, he says. I have no filter, Robert saying, I have no filter. Okay, well, let me tell you a couple of stories today that I was going to talk to you folks about. Um, a quick, quick message here. Diane Sanders, I stayed with a diving group at Cobalt Resort in uh, West Bay and Cayman. Uh, okay, so Cobalt Resort in West Bay. Uh, I used to live in West Bay. Only snorkeled with stingrays. Enjoyed the free rum samples at the distillery. Giddy up, Diane. Uh, I used to live in West Bay uh, near the Shores, uh, a neighborhood known as the Shores. I used to live a, a block or so away from there. And know the area rather well. And it's a beautiful place. Uh, go Diet Pepsi, says Rob. Oh, yuck. And Jordan laughing out loud. Tom Henry, I saw news that uh, rains caused a sinkhole in Hershey Park. And they closed the park. Wow, that's scary stuff. Unbelievable. Uh, interesting there, Tom. All right, my news today that I was going to tell you about was um, Princess Cruises announced, along with the shipyard in Italy, that uh, they have ordered two additional, additional cruise ships to what they've already got coming, two mega ships, each one, 175,000 tons in weight. To give you an idea what we're talking about, a typical princess cruise ship, like the uh, the Ruby Princess, the Sapphire Princess, you go on one of those ships, you're talking about 90 to 95,000 tons, and you're talking about a ship about 950 to 975 feet long, this uh, baby right here, these two ships are going to be natural gas powered, 175,000 tons, not quite double the weight in tons. They'll be longer. They'll probably be close to 1,000 feet long, maybe even longer than 1,000 feet. They could be as long as 1,100 feet. Uh, they're going to hold apparently 4,300 passengers. The Ruby Princess that I took on a Mexican cruise last year, I believe held 25 or 2,800 people. This one 
4,300 passengers plus your crew, you'll be up to 6,000 people on board this ship. That's why you're 175,000 tons to handle that kind of weight. Those are two big cruise ships. They are destined to arrive 2023 and 2025, so in the next five, six years. Right now, Princess has three ships on order, the first one of which is coming October 2019. That's a year and a couple of months. Uh, Sky Princess is the name of that ship. There are two others coming behind it. They're, they are of what is known as the Royal Class, the Princess Royal Class of ships. Uh, they're coming in 2020, 2022. So these three ships, 2019, 2020, 2022, followed by the two mega ships, LNG Power, 2023, 2025. That is five ships for Princess in the next seven years. And they're larger than what they've had in the past, showing you the pattern. This is the pattern that's going on in the cruise business. Quite an amazing uh, bit of news there and a lot of money on the line here as well. These 175,000 ton ships will be 800 million, 900 million. They'll be up there, almost a billion bucks a piece with all the amenities. It should be interesting. I will hear all about it. Uh, we'll hear a ton about this. Uh, A.J. Walsh, love my shirt, Bruce. Thanks to you and my sister, a CS, who bought it for me. I'll be back for more. This is great. You got a shirt. Take a photo of the shirt it, with you on it or you wearing it or not. Post it on, our, uh, on my Facebook group page, Traveling with Bruce on Facebook. That would be great. I'd love to see that. That's great, AJ. I'm glad you got you like it. I'm glad you got it. Brittany Lockwood, I am in shorts in T-shirts until like uh, November. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Uh, Rob Sauter, Diet Coke sucks. Too bad, Rob. Too too bad for you. It sucks for you, but I love it. Uh, too bad for you. Uh, Jim Thomas, that ship is bigger than the Bliss. How about that? Uh, that's interesting. Robert Brandt uh, at Traveling with Bruce, where are the new ships sailing? Robert, I don't know. Um, they haven't uh, released that information yet. They will do a full-blown publicity campaign leading up to the launch of each of these ships, and then we'll find out where they're headed and where they're going. They're probably going to do a big tour, a uh, big media tour first, and then find out, the, you know, go to their home port and go from there. But we'll find out. Uh, we'll know more, and I'll pass that on to all of you when I know it. Um, Peter Heckema, I think you will be seeing a lot more ships powered by LNG. Uh, my friend, Peter, uh, I think they're all going that direction. I, I have a feeling that the um, Paris Accord and the marine rules, uh, the, the global marine shipping rules, are tightening up. And it's only a matter of time that within the next 5 to 15 years, Every new ship will have to be at least LNG powered because it's the cleanest burning fuel you can use. Uh, it's a big deal with merchant uh, marine operators and port operators, cities that have ships coming in, uh, Savona, Italy. I mean, geez, you could have three, four ships right off the downtown core. Uh, Naples, Italy, my God, uh, you can walk off a cruise ship off the pier and you're in the heart of downtown Naples. You don't want to have 200,000 ton ships sitting over here, dozens of them, or you know, 10 of them, spewing all this stuff into the air. You got the ferries, the cruise ships, the container ships. No, you don't want that. Uh, so these ships are, are cleaning up their act, and I'm glad to see it. So that's uh, not surprising now to see an LNG ship uh, being announced. It's uh, becoming the new normal. Robert Brent, they are huge, and many ports may need to dredge or tender everyone in. Robert, you're right. Uh, ships, uh, these ships, though, I will admit, admit, even as big as they are, they only need about 30 feet of, uh, of water uh, to get in. It's incredible. But uh, some ports, of course, smaller ports, are going to have to improve and in in enhance uh, with some dredging and, and new, uh, you know, building out of their weirs. But uh, that's the price you pay. If you want 6,000 people to show up on an Oasis-class ship to spend money in your town, Invest some money in your port. Here we go. I have some news about that coming up right now. Uh, Seakeeper at Brittany uh, Short said, sometimes a T-shirt all year long here. No more suits every day for me the last 13 years, no matter uh, <laughs> how <laughs> dressed my wife thinks I am. Uh, my wife thinks I'm cute no matter how I'm dressed. Love is blind. There you go. <laughs> Way to go, Seakeeper. Well done, sir. Uh, Robert Brent, I agree, at, I agree at Peter Heckema. It's the future LNG. I'm referring to the size as well. Uh, Bliss is 160,000 uh, range. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, Tom Henry is asking me, 
Um, Bruce, did you have a chance to check my Facebook post regarding the uh, Cruising with Wheels uh, Haven Nazi? Um, by the way, the Haven Nazi is my, turn, uh, my term. I, 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 I did the soup Nazi takeoff and called him Haven Nazi. For those of you who don't know, um, our friends at Cruising with Wheels did a video last week. Um, it was a rant. And uh, it, was, it was, what was it? Tales of the High Seas is what they call it. And uh, I think, I'm not sure it was Frank, uh, one of them, talking about the, the fact that the two of them were on the Bliss in Seattle. <clears throat> and they were, uh, they had booked a, a room. And I think they book an inside room, if I'm not mistaken. And the reason I think this is because um, I think it's Frank is in the wheelchair. One of them in the wheelchair. And they need uh, handicap access, special access. They would love to book <coughs> a balcony <coughs> in the Haven, but they can't. The Haven is not uh, accessible to wheelchairs. So what they do is they uh, they love cruising Norwegian, have numerous occasions, like a lot. They are platinum members of the uh, Norwegian program. Um, but they have a very special relationship with the uh, marketing people at Norwegian. And they personally have uh, talked to, on a number of occasions, the um, the head, I believe the head of the marketing department, I, I'm, I might be wrong with the titling here, but it's someone up there in management, right up there. And whenever they go on a cruise, uh, they let them know they're going to be on this ship and they're going to be filming. They're going to be doing episodes for, for future filmings of their channel. And they love interviewing the uh, cruise director. They love to interview the hotel director if they can, uh, anyone else. And uh, the folks at Norwegian have been taking such good care of them that they've set them up with um, access to the Haven to go up to the restaurant and eat at the Haven if, if they want to. And they usually get in at least one meal, maybe twice, but usually they like to be on the, on the rest of the ship because they're, uh, they're in a, an inside room. Nonetheless, uh, it is not uncommon for them to go on a, a Norwegian ship and come into their room and find that in the bathroom, Everything in the bathroom, all the soaps, all the shampoos, the conditioners, all the body wash, everything, it's all high-end Haven product that's been brought down to that cabin for those two guys. These guys get the treatment from management at Norwegian because Norwegian appreciates the fact that they cruise on Norwegian and they love talking about it on their channel. Duh, makes sense to me. Uh, and so the Haven, they get Haven accoutrements all over the place. Now, on this ship, on this cruise, for the Bliss, they were assured by head office, Norwegian Cruise Line head office, that they would have access to the Haven area so that they could film and they could enjoy a meal or two and uh, have a good old time. Enjoy yourselves. And in their room, when they checked in, was all the Haven goodies. There was all the, the Haven goodie bag was waiting for both of them. And they had all kinds of treats, including inaugural bliss um, uh, lanyards and uh, a book and just all kinds of stuff. Um, and they were, uh, they were supposed to go up to the Haven for a lunch on the first day of the cruise. So they checked in in the Haven. Uh, they check in, by the way, in the Haven area. They don't even check in where we check in. They're told specifically, do not check in there at the big counters. Head to the Haven check-in area. We're waiting for you. They went there. They were waiting for them. And they treated them like gold. And uh, two Haven employees uh, escorted them up to the ship, into elevators, up to the Haven area for lunch. And uh, one of the Haven employees is pushing the wheelchair. The other Haven employee is helping him with their bags. And up they go. And they get to the area where the concierge is. And that's where the problems began. They ran into a gentleman there, Adrian was his name, who would not let them pass. Uh, he didn't care who they were. He wasn't, in, he wasn't interested in listening to anything they had to say about anything because they weren't on the clipboard as a room holder in the Haven. If you're not staying in a room in the Haven, you go no further. I don't care who you think you are. I don't care who you think you talk to. I don't care. Get out. And they were kicked out of the Haven. They were shocked, <laughs> to say the least. They were shocked. So um, 
Had it been just that, they would have probably let it go. But it wasn't just that. It went on. They ran, ran into this guy a couple of more times. They talked to people who ran into this guy, and they had complaints about this guy. There's a problem in Houston here, folks, a problem on the bliss, and they made a video about it. Okay, so Tom Henry is asking me, hey, did you check out the uh, Bliss uh, Facebook page? People are really attacking the, the guys at uh, Cruising with Wheels. They're just attacking them. Like, well, who do they think they are and all this stuff? Well, I'm kind of thinking maybe they didn't see the whole video. Uh, after Frank did the first video, they did a follow-up video, I think a day or two later. It was a live chat on their channel, and they explained even more what was going on. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I, I just could not believe it. Anyway, uh, Tom, that's all I've got for you on this whole story of uh, – the, I, I've nicknamed him the Haven Nazi because of the soup Nazi. I figured, you know, you ever run into a guy like this? I've never run into a guy like this. I was shocked at how they were treated. I, I would have thought this, prof this person would be professional because of the position the person has is so high up in the, in the ship. Uh, concierge to the Haven, I think those people should be the most accommodating and uh, willing to help and uh, open to listening to whatever you've got to say. I mean... Come on, uh, but not this guy. This guy was not even interested. He couldn't, he, they were saying to him, we're with two Haven people. These people from the Haven check-in department are bringing us to you. <laughs> didn't matter, didn't, didn't matter. This guy thought they were frauds, kicked them out. Crazy, insane. Anyway, there you go. Uh, what can I tell you? Um, it's it's wacky. Uh, Robert Grant splashed some rum in that Diet Coke and yum, Paul Wilgus, uh more than some, Robert. Uh, Robert, I was trying to be the non-drunk uh, comment to, to, today. <laughs> Tracy, don't laugh at Robert Brent. I don't have much of a filter either, but I try when it's on that subject. Robert Brent, we want them all coming here. We want them to come on down. Michael Mayer, if you want uh, liquid natural gas, you better get used to fracking because that's how you get the gas. Uh, and Michael, the world is drowning in this stuff. Uh, there is so much gas uh, that is being um, kept underground because there's no market for it. There's not enough of a market for it. We're, we can produce more than we can ever use. Uh, but yeah, Michael, uh, you're right on that count. Scott Weber, seven days until Alaska. Looking forward to it. Scott, this is going to be awesome. Rob Souter, can you imagine a dam all the damage that would happen if a natural gas ship flew? Well, Robert, I I'm sure they have suppression systems on board, but I'm not an expert, so can't tell you. Tom Henry, uh, yes, it is a handicapped inside room. Tom was saying, uh, Peter Heckema, NASA did some dredging two years ago to accommodate ships like the Symphony of the Seas. They saw the future. They know. Yes, in Nassau, they know. Robert Brandt at Traveling with Bruce. Did you see EECC Travels is doing giveaways? I have, and I've seen that uh, Cruising with Wheels is doing giveaways. And I'm thinking about doing some giveaways, and I'm working with somebody on that right now, and hopefully I'll have some news in the next few days to share with the world about some giveaways. Debbie Manuel, yay, Scott. Robert Brandt at Peter Heckema. It's a consistent upkeep. The bottom fills in over time, but... Given the volume and what brings uh, to a location, it's well worthwhile to keep those harbors dredged. Robert Brandt here, the giant ships are usually on Crown Bay versus the West Indian port. Interesting, sir. Yep. Tom Henry, for the views here, I have a post in the Facebook, uh, for the viewers here, I have a Facebook in the Facebook Bliss fan group and posted a question. If anyone had contact with Adrian, was it good or bad? I was asked to post the reference for CWW, Cruising with Wheels. Um, Tom Henry got some really bad posts. Interesting. Tom Henry, I'm trying to hold my tongue and not start a verbal fight. A good plan. Don't do it here. To, uh, Scott Weber, if Hall America does a good job on my upcoming cruise, if they impress me, I might book the Noy at Staten Dam for Europe next year. I, uh, Scott, something tells me you're going to have a good time. I think you're going to be happy. Debbie Emanuel, how are you getting to Alaska? Scott W. Robert Brandt, it's a hospitality business at Traveling with Bruce. Scott Weber, Alaska Airlines to SeaTac and then Holland America Zandam for the 14-night Great Alaskan Explorer Cruise. Fantastic, Scott. That is going to be a fantastic trip. I'm looking forward to hearing your report on it. Brittany Lockwood, the guys working in the Haven have lost their mind, especially from the guys with Traveling with Wheels, as they are amazing. Well, I can say it. I couldn't believe it. Debbie Manuel, oh, Scott, I was there a short time ago, and they are still jealous of your trip. Going to be wonderful. And Jordan, hey, Robert Brandt, sorry, I have a Bacardi 1873 bottle. <laughs> right on. <clears throat> oh, I, you know, I, I don't know. Sometimes people have bad days. Sometimes, um, you know, I, I say something, someone else says something, we take it the wrong way. Then we talk a little longer and we realize, oh, no, I didn't mean it that way. I meant that. And I, uh, but I don't know. I don't know what happened here with the Cruising with Wheels guys. I, I don't know how this happened. I'm shocked 
I'm just shocked that NCL head office didn't get the message to this guy or that this guy didn't get the message or didn't take the message or didn't attend, pay attention to the message. Something is missing in the connection between the head of PR and the, the uh, guy on the bliss, Adrian. Something didn't click here. Something missed. And Adrian, uh, uh, this is not good. Uh, cruising with wheels, how can they be bad for Norwegian? Uh, if, if they're on Norwegian bliss and telling you guys how much fun they're having and what, how, what a great ship it is and how fantastic it is, that's called good for business. They've got 4,500 subscribers. they got thousands of viewers. They're growing a channel. I'm growing a channel. Uh, media, it's not like I feel privileged or anything or entitled. But uh, to be abused like that, what's the, what's that for? What what good does that serve? Is this a power trip by this guy? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, but here's the other news I wanted to talk about today. We're talking about uh, accommodating large cruise ships on ports. Here's some stories for you. I read today that uh, the Dominican Republic is about to announce that they are opening a new cruise port. A new cruise port is being built specifically for cruise ship business the uh, company that's going to build it is one of apparently 13 or 14 different companies that bid for the project they won the bid it's called itm group the company itm group is based out of mexico city mexico but they are moving their offices to miami florida the company was in the hotel type business but they've been selling all that off they're now in the development business for ports they are building cruise ports for countries companies to enhance traffic on shore and what's happening here is uh they're going to build a a uh, uh, port it's going to be called tiano village that's t-i-a-n-o village 80 million dollars is the cost of the first stage of the build out and the uh, development will replace what is now being called Puerto Plata's old container port. Puerto Plata has an ancient aging container port. It's going to be completely replaced. And this new Tiano village is going in, um, specifically designed for tourists and cruise ships. Um, passengers will be able to walk from the ship or take a short boat ride to Fort San Felipe, the colonial heart of Puerto Plata. They're comparing this area similar to Old Town San Juan. To give you an idea what we're talking about, cobblestone streets, the sidewalks that are like two feet off the ground, that kind of thing. 30 different shore excursions are going to be offered at this port for cruise ship passengers in conjunction with cruise ship operators. Uh, Royal Caribbean, MSC, Norwegian, and Virgin Voyages are all talking to them about access to this project, to this deal. The port will handle ships up to the Oasis class in size. In other words, the biggest ships at sea now, two ships at a time will be able to start using this pier by the winter of 2019. That's a year and a half from now. The entire project will be open by summer 2020, and they'll be able to handle three Oasis-class ships at a time if necessary. So if the bliss is coming in, and the uh, harmony of the seas is coming in, and the symphony of the seas is coming in, they can handle them all, all in one day, all at the same time. This is a big deal. The uh, visits uh, are expected to top 1 million passengers between 2020 and 21. That's what they're expecting to happen here. They will have restaurants. They will have shops. They will have a water park built there, zip line rides all over the place, coaster rides, uh, lazy river rides, VIP access areas. This is a full-blown um, uh, water park, theme amusement park, museums will be here, uh, interpretive centers, and access to Old Town Porto Plata. So they're really sprucing it up. So instead of the cruise ships coming into a container port area and having to get off a ship and get right on a bus, drive through the container port to where you want to go, they're building out an entire feature area 
where you're going to walk off the ship and just go right into the water park if you want, over to the coaster rides, the zip line rides, uh, different shops and bars and events, or you can take one of 30 onshore uh, excursions right from this port. Uh, the government of uh, Dominican Republic have got it figured out. They are uh, building out these kinds of ports because they see the future. The future is big cruise ships. That's big. That's the number one thing. They figure that out. Number two, cruise ships do not take passengers where passengers can be accosted, assaulted, pickpocketed, or hassled. And they figured out, you know what? If we build these huge port facilities and all around it create this incredible place to visit, these cruise ships will come. If you build it, they will come. They will deposit their passengers here. Their passengers will have a wonderful time. And we, the government of the Dominican Republic, can hire thousands and thousands of people to work in this port area in many facets of the business from duty-free shopping to uh, restauranting to museum to water parks to roller coaster rides to you name it. Shop owners, rent will be collected, uh, taxes will be collected, duties will be collected. This is a big deal for the government of the Republican go Dominican Republic. Smart move, um, keeping the island uh, stable, keeping people employed, keeping cash flow rolling, and attracting business. And this is what Royal Caribbean wants to hear. This is what MSC wants to know. This is what Norwegian is dying for. They don't have to build a private island. They can book their ships into this resort area specifically catered to cruising passengers. Smart move because you know and I know we're not going to be dropped off by Royal Caribbean in downtown Kingston, Jamaica right now and told, off you go. See you in six hours. Have a good time on shore here in Kingston, Jamaica. There's martial law there right now, state of emergency. Uh, there's a curfew after after six in the evening on Jamaica. You don't want to be anywhere down in downtown Kingston, Jamaica at all. Uh, this is perfect. Secure, safe, makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, pretty smart move. Anyway, that was the story I read about today. I was fascinated by this. I'll be watching the developments of this story going forward, and we'll continue to talk about it. There you go. Uh, what else is going on here? Um, any more comments, folks coming in? Uh, uh, here we go. Um, uh, da -da 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 Debbie Manuel uh, talked that already. I did that story. Sorry, did that story. Uh, Scott Weber, I love these travel channels. Lots of fun. Robert Brand, any of the YouTubers are recording their travels too. Show you the greatness of the location and not the bad side. Well, the good and the bad get captured. That, that's true. Uh, Robert, uh, uh, you know, I do, I do love talking about traveling. But sometimes I don't talk about happy stuff. But sometimes I tell you the reality of the situation. You probably noticed that. Um, I think it's only fair. We should know the full story. Uh, uh, Robert Brandt, is ITM a Carlos Slim company? Robert, I don't know. I don't know if it is. I haven't seen the name Robert Slim anywhere in the uh, reporting so far. Uh, but if I ever come across that, I'll let you know. But uh, I don't know. Tom Henry, I want to send out a welcome home bean. He is having a bad time getting home. Plane canceled yesterday. Oh, man. Tom. And today he has gone from New York City to Memphis. Uh, uh, it, it, what was that? Memphis, uh, Las Vegas, long was long to Ken, long to Ken. I'm not sure we said he's. He's. I guess he was in Memphis, and then he's from Memphis getting home. It's a long way back. I'm not sure what's going on. He's having a tough time getting home. Hopefully he'll make it safe and sound. Rob Souter, after the treatment uh, cruising with Will's got, I will never get on one uh, on one of their garbage scowl. Uh, well, you know, like I say, a Norwegian. Uh, you know, this individual is a. Uh, is a unique one. I'll tell you that. It's the first time I've ever heard this kind of treatment from anyone on a cruise ship of a staff member. It's shocking to me. Cool Jazz, uh, Cruise TV announced MSC Seaside reached out for them for a cruise. You need to start making some calls. Uh, cool Jazz, I am glad you mentioned that too because I watched that show. And I'm glad you mentioned it because I want to comment on that. Uh, first of all, shout out to uh, 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 our friends at uh, Cruise Tips TV. I reached out to Sharon. I asked her if she would like to be in my um, collaboration video. Um, I didn't expect to hear from her because she's a busy girl, uh, but she did respond to me. She said, hi, Bruce, I know who you are. Like, I, thank you. Thank you for considering me, but uh, they, they, uh, they weren't able to provide me with a clip, but they said hi, and I want to congratulate her. She just broke 50,000 subscribers Saturday night. 
Um, but they announced on Saturday, uh, cruise, a surprise. We're going on a cruise. They're going on the MSCC side, and they're being comped. They're getting a complimentary MSCC side cruise by MSC. And I say congratulations. I think it's fantastic. I look forward to her report. Uh, tell me all about it. Now, I don't have 50,000 subscribers. I had just broke 2,400 on Saturday myself, and I'm only 120th the size <laughs> of her channel. So you got to give me a little slack here, folks. Uh, the cruise lines are not going to call me uh, willy-nilly and say, hey, Bruce, you got 2,400 subscribers. You, you want to go on a free cruise? It doesn't work that way. They look at the numbers and go, Brucey boy, when you prove yourself to us, you've been around a year or two, and you show us some serious viewage. Uh, we'll take it from there, and uh, we'll let you know. So I get it. I'm expecting nothing, uh, and I take everything with uh, everything that comes my way. I say thank you so much for any and all charity and any and all donations and any and all anything. And yeah, sure. If Norwegian wanted to call me, MSC, Royal Caribbean, um, Car Carnival, any of the lines want to give me a call, Viking, hi Viking, I would be more than delighted to go on a cruise. And give them a critique, uh, give them a review. I broadcast from the ship on this live show. I'd love to do that. But uh, I get 2,400 viewers, uh, subscribers, folks, and uh, we got to build up the numbers. So stick with me. We're growing. We're getting there, and we'll see what we can do. Okay. Uh, and Jordan, I was so sad that uh, Cruising with Wheels was treated like that. They are an amazing channel. Their videos are awesome. Uh, Steve Bartley, Kingston, was a place to avoid when I was in Jamaica in 1967. I didn't want to go there. Uh, today it's worse, of course. Robert Brandt, Carlos Slim is the richest man in Mexico. For those who don't know, yeah, I'm a multi-billionaire. Robert Brandt, I think you might get 50000 quick. Robert, I'm uh, from your lips to God's ears. Got my fingers crossed, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, we're going to work it, and we got things coming up. I am scheming away. We will see what we can do. Uh, folks, um, that is the latest news I had for you guys today. I had this news about the princess orders. I had the news about this ITM group out of Mexico building this new port. I think this is exciting stuff. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, some of you folks are getting ready to go on cruises. I'm really excited for you guys. Um, uh, Paul Wilkos, and don't, uh, don't, and you don't have the sponsors that Cruise Tips TV has. Paul, absolutely right. Uh, uh, again, when you've got, you know, 40 now, 50,000 subscribers, you have a little more pull, you get noticed, you get approached. You don't have to make phone calls. The phone calls come to you. Um, I'm I'm uh, very envious and I'm very proud of her and I'm very uh, respectful of Cruise Tips TV. They work very hard doing what they do and they put on a good product and they have a loyal following. And I say, way to go, guys. I, I'm, I commend you all the way. I hope someday to become that large myself. Um, Tom Henry, we just need to advertise on CTTV. <laughs> Bruce is the only... YouTuber Cindy will watch without saying these folks are getting on my nerves. Time to end the vid. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not sure what that means, actually. But uh, Tom, if those are kind words, I take them. Uh, Bruce, the only YouTuber Cindy will watch without saying these folks are getting my nerves. Um, Robert Brandt, thumbs ups all over the place. Uh, how I do? How am I doing on thumbs ups today? Let's take a look. Uh, twenty thumbs ups. Well, folks, thank you for twenty. If you can spare anyone out there, if any of you folks out there can spare me some thumbs ups. Please give me a thumbs up today. Every time that thumbs up thing is hit, the analytics uh, sensors in the YouTube computers kind of light up. They go, traveling with Bruce, traveling with Bruce, traveling with Bruce. People are liking him. What? Well, they're liking him. We, we should be promoting this guy. So thank you for that. Any of you who are not subscribers, who are thinking of being a subscriber, or hadn't even thought of being a subscriber to my channel, please consider subscribing to Traveling with Bruce. There's a button here. There's a button here. This one. This one has a bell notification icon right beside it there. If you click on that, you'll be notified every time I do a new video, every time I put something on the air, and I got stuff coming. I got lots of stuff coming. You want to be on top of that. I'd recommend you do that ASAP, please. Those of you who are subscribed and haven't hit that, you should hit that uh, because now you'll from now on get alerts through YouTube, a little email telling it Bruce is doing something, and you'll find out what's going on. Uh, Tom Henry, I have 27 here. Whose thumbs are missing? Um, how many thumbs have I got? I thought I only had 20. Robert Brent says 28. Uh, oh, here they come. Yeah, yeah. 28 thumbs ups. They're coming in. Thanks, you guys. I really appreciate that. I see 41 on the air, and uh, I'm glad 41 of you are with me, and I'm glad to be at 28 thumbs up. I'm waiting for the day. I, I can't wait for the day that we hit 100 in one show. One show, 100 thumbs ups. That'll be a moment. 
I'm really looking forward to that. I know it'll come because this channel is growing and you folks are, uh, you seem to like what I'm doing for the most part, although I hear a few comments. It's all good, uh, either good or bad comments. I don't mind. I don't mind criticism. I'm growing. I love that counter CTV. Uh, yeah, I love the counter that the Cruise TV people had. It, it would go up and down, laugh out loud. That's what it, it does that. that. It's normal. Uh, the bigger you are, like the larger you are, uh, like say Casey Neistat, if you ever see his live counter on the analytics channels, you'll see his numbers fluctuate. They might go up 5, 10 at a time and then come down 3, 4, and then go up 10, 15. It, it, yeah, people come and go all the time. I lose subscribers every day. Sometimes I lose one. Sometimes I, not, sometimes I don't lose any. But I've had situations where I lose one, gain eight, plus seven for the day. Um, I've had situations where I've lost four, had six come in, plus two on the day, this kind of thing. After I did the Trump video, the uh, Trump, uh, um, the Trump uh, 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 trivia show lost 16 subscribers in two days. 16 Trumpers jumped ship. They were mad at me for mentioning his name in any way except glowingly loving him. Sorry, I was just doing trivia show. It's just popular vote and uh, and the count of the uh, uh, the electorate. What can I say? But 16 went. Uh, three days later, I had gained 50 more. So, you know, they just they, it just goes around and around. Robert Frank, 31 thumbs ups. Thank you, Tom Henry. I told Cindy to quick subscribe when it got to 49999 then remembered I was watching the tape a day after the live stream. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm sure she appreciated your subscription anyway. How about that? Beverly, uh, Brittany Lockwood, I have been forgetting to tell you this. I mentioned you in a comment on Cruise Tips TV, mentioning something along the lines. If you wanted, if you wanted to get in touch with them, uh, if you wanted, to, if you wanting to get in touch with them, um, you would like me to mention you in C's Cruisers video comment. Um, you know, you don't need me. You don't really need to mention my channel on other channels. Channels, it's it's really not, it's not quite proper etiquette actually. Although on this channel, I don't mind anyone mentioning anybody else because I openly talk about other YouTube channels all the time. Uh, and I love it when YouTubers come here, like 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 Sharon at C. I, I don't mind it at all. I love it uh, because I feel that the more interaction between YouTubers, the better. Because I think we just grow the the awareness of cruising and cruising channels. But uh, I generally uh, I will go to. I've been on Cruise Tips TV and I've been on our live show and I've said hi to her, and she's acknowledged my existence. She goes, "Oh, hi, Bruce. You know, traveling with Bruce. That type of thing, which is very kind of her to do." Um, but um, I would love to do a collaboration with her someday, some kind of collaboration. I just don't know how, I don't know when, but someday it'll happen. Um, but I know she is super, super active with her work, her family, the ch her two channels at least, her uh, Facebook group, her Instagram. Her She's a busy gal. I am too, obviously. I'm rather busy myself. But, you know, the time will come where someday there will be a meeting of the of the cruising minds. <laughs> we'll see what happens. It'll be fun. Um, Touchdown 821, are you able to see how people are viewing your channel, such as viewing on uh, ROKKU versus on the phone? Um, Touchdown, uh, I get analytical reports from YouTube where I can see on, a, on any video I've ever shot, uh, any day I've ever been on, you know, any day I want to know about, any month, any week, any time frame, I can see where viewers watch me from geographically, like countries. I can find out whether they're male or female, generally speaking. I can find out their ages in some cases because some of the demographics break it down, but you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt. But I do see um, tablet, uh, laptop, um, iPhone, uh, like a phone, or on TV, like on the big TV. I'm just pointing at my TV, you can't see it. Um, and I also can see stuff like uh, whether they're watching me on Android or um, iOS, apparently. Um, a lot of the information, I, I, I kind of get some of it, but a lot of it just is over my head. Uh, I need a professional analyzer to help me analyze the analytics. Uh, but what I look for is um, the numbers, how many people are watching, how, how many subscribers have I got, what kind of views have I got, what videos are working, what videos are duds. Um, what uh, what uh, you know what the pattern is, what the length of time people are spending on my channel, on my show, either live show or on a regular video, that's important to me. I'd like to pe like to have people stay with me longer than shorter, uh, but then I must be engaging them type of thing. 
Um, so I, I view all the analytics in that space. I, I hope that answered some of your questions there. Hope I didn't bore the rest of you. Uh, <laughs> Tom Henry, I'm a Trump supporter except for this, for his stupid tweets. You didn't say anything offensive. Tom, I thank you very much. And I'm praying that 99.99% of you are the same way as Tom is. I, I have nothing personally against anyone. Um, I just, uh, just you know, I, rem I just miss the good old days when Johnny Carson would be on TV and it didn't matter who the president was. When he told a joke, it was funny. Today, a comedian tells a joke, it's offensive or it's funny. I don't, I don't buy that. I think comedy is comedy and politics is politics. And I think it's fair game. And Ronald Reagan loved getting picked on. He was the Republican dream candidate and he loved it when Don Rickles tore him one. He loved it. Donald Trump today, could you imagine Don Rickles five years ago doing a Donald Trump thing? Would never happen today. He'd probably get him arrested. It's that sad. So, anyway, I don't want to go there. Let's just get away from that. Uh, Richard C., hello all, got back from Philly Airport, got a picture of Nike, Nike, Nike Foles, NFL Super Bowl quarterback. Oh, fantastic. Way to go, Richard. Barb, how do you find cruises that have different classes, such as cooking classes or other types of themes? Uh, Barb, there is actually a, a channel out there on the internet, um, and if, the name escapes me at the moment, uh, so I'm, I, I beg your forgiveness. But if you do a Google search, um, do something like uh, themed cruises. Themed cruises. Um, you'll probably find some websites that will tell you what ships are what theme when, and then you can go from there. Okay, give that a try. Uh, Touch ninety twenty one. The options for subscribing on YouTube from Roku, R O K U, are not the same as viewing on a phone. That is why I'm asking. I have no idea what Roku is. Touch down eight twenty one. You are way over here. You're, I'm missing it. R O K U. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea what it means. Um, and there's nothing I think I can do about it. Um, but that's it's interesting, but to a point because I'm not sure what I'm actually talking to you about. Uh, DNG Explorers, I love your support of other channels, Bruce. Thank you, DNG Explorers. They are on the collaboration video later this week, along with Sharon at Sea. I'm looking forward to releasing that video. I got their clips yesterday. Fantastic. And uh, guys, I can't wait to get that out there. We're going to have some fun with it. And Jordan, awesome, Richard. Hey, DNG, we love you guys as well. DNG, thank you. And Bill and Beth Shoup, I read somewhere that YouTube views on TV using Roku, Apple TV don't get counted into some of the analytics. Uh, Bill and Beth, I wouldn't know. Um, I don't know. I do know that um, I do see statistics on my analytics regarding television watching on my channel. I do get that. But is it including both of these? I don't know. So... Can't say. And Jordan at DNG Explorers, thanks for your pics of Disney on Facebook. Awesome. They posted those today. Uh, Richard C., nice. Uh, Nick Nick looks smaller in person. <laughs> Nick looks smaller in person. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> cool, Jazz. You need to watch uh, the Colbert show on CBS every night. He rips it. I, I occasionally watch it, but uh, not not my. I do so much work on this. I don't have ton of time for TV. Barb, thanks. DNG Explorers, more to come. And Jordan. Uh, and Jordan Richard C, you will have to put some pics on Facebook. Awesome. Uh, Barb, I watch you on Roku. Barb, thank you for watching me. Thank you for following me. Tell all your friends. Build me out there. Get me out there. Share me on Facebook, people. Do what you can to help promote me on social media. Get this channel. Make, make this channel aware out there. I think if people watch, I think some will enjoy it. Uh, Diane Sanders, I heard there is a Leonard Skinner cruise, perhaps in January. Would love to be on that one. Diane Sanders, if you want to find out, go to Google, enter Leonard Skinner theme cruise. See what you get. You may find the ship that that's on. Uh, Beth, Bill and Beth, uh, your positive comments about Cruise Tips TV were first class. Proud of you. Uh, it's easy to do. Uh, it's just easy to do. I I, uh, I, love, to, uh, I love to congratulate her. Um, I would love to meet her someday. Uh, both Mr. Cruise Tips TV. I'd like to meet him too. I think he'd be kind of cool to know, get to know. Um, uh, I tell you right now, any YouTuber out there, I know what it takes uh, to be a YouTuber. And I am nothing. I am like puny. I'm tiny. Not 2,400 subscribers. Come on. I'm a nothing. Uh, anyone with 50,000 subscribers, Jim Zimmerlin, 220 plus thousand subscribers. That is something. That is something. I don't care how he gets those subscribers. I don't care where they come from. You do that. 
uh, you're doing something really right. <clears throat> Don's family vac vacation, excuse me, Don's family vacations, 14,500. 14, Fantastic. I love it. I'm glad to see YouTubers growing in the cruise segment because I'm in that business. I'm in that segment and I love to see our segment growing. I'm excited. I love it. Dean Cheek Spurs, oh, thank God, Bruce, it was a job tr trying to send it. I know we had trouble receiving your clip, but I got it, and it's all good. Diane Sanders, Skinner, I meant Leonard Skinner. Yeah, live, uh, Diane, a living life. Can't wait to see the collaboration. Uh, yeah, it's this week. I'm thinking Thursday will be the day. Uh, if I can get it out earlier, I will, but right now it looks like Thursday. Um, still working on it, and the uh, clips have been coming in. I've got a couple more to go, and I'm doing my editing between shows and everything else. And I'm excited. It, it, it's just a, so much fun. I'm so grateful. I got seven YouTubers, seven plus me. That's eight of us in one video. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. And of course, we'll all hopefully promote it to our viewers and stuff and get the word out on social media that we're all on this video and see if we can get this thing to catch because uh, I'll have links to all the channels in the description below and uh, everyone will be promoted in this video and we'll see what it does. I'm excited. This is fantastic. Tracy Dunlap. Hey, Bruce. Pat yourself on the back. Look what you've done in less than a year. Uh, okay. I'll do, I'll do that. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, and Jordan, cool jazz. Great pics of your ships on Facebook as well. Uh, yeah, that's right. He did. Thank you for that as well. Um, I'm excited, and I'm I'm so grateful to all of you who've been sticking by this little old channel. Um, I, I see my videos from October, November, December. I look at my old videos just to kind of see what I used to do and make sure I'm, you know, no bad habits and trying to get better at what I do. And I remember when I had 50, 60 subscribers, 70 subscribers, I was excited I had 70. I was excited when I had 150. I was pumped when I got the 300 subscribers. When we hit 1,000, a lot of you who are here today, some of you were with me on the air live on that day, January the uh, February the 19th, 2018, I hit 1,000 subscribers on the air and that was a big deal, a big deal. I couldn't believe it. I was doing a show in January when in November I had 50. <laughs> 50. <laughs> 60 days later, I had 1,000. <laughs> now it's 2,400, and it's still growing. Thank you all so much for loyal following of this channel. I love it. Um, let's see here, DNG. I'll start tweeting today about the video. Absolutely. Uh, we got to get the word out that this Thursday there's a great big honking video coming out a collaboration video with eight youtubers talking about cruising this is going to be fun i'm looking forward to it i'll give you guys more details over the next few days and we'll get it all ready to roll and then we'll put it out there it should be a lot of fun all right how about that for a show uh one hour and 20 minutes air time that's not too bad today didn't bore you too much i hope still got 36 folks here thank you for sticking around 34 uh, thumbs ups today fantastic you guys thank you for 34 thumbs ups if any of you would like to add to that total please throw us a thumbs up and let's add to the count uh, this is wonderful um tomorrow tuesday i'm on twice as usual i'm on tomorrow at five eastern time and eight eastern time tomorrow night eight o'clock trivia trivia uh live trivia on youtube with your host traveling with bruce here I'm uh, looking forward to that, too. Uh, we'll have some fun tomorrow night. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to say thank you all for joining me today. Uh, I'm, I hope we got a lot of questions answered, uh, comments uh, taken care of, and uh, no one mad at me. <laughs> please, please don't be mad at me. Uh, too much fun. Okay, I'll be on tomorrow at 5 o'clock. In the meantime, I want to wish you a pleasant Monday evening. Stay cool out there. Stay indoors. Stay safe and uh, have a cool drink. Do what I do. Grab a libation of some kind. Mine happens to be diet caffeine-free, diet Coke, brown fuzzy water. If they sponsor me, if Coca-Cola were to sponsor me and they said, don't call it brown fuzzy water, I wouldn't do that if you sponsored me. But you haven't sponsored me, so I, you know, it's diet caffeine-free Coke, my brown fuzzy water. I love it, though. I love it. Um, anyway, there you go. Anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay, guys, have a great evening. Everyone's saying goodbye. Uh, Tracy Dunlop was here. Debbie Manuel was here. Diane Sanders was here. Um, she says, tomorrow I'm working at 5, but at 8 o'clock I'm in. Right on, Diane. You're there. Uh, D Dinah living at life. D&G, Bill and Beth were here. Barb and D&G, of course. Barb, who else is here? Richard C. and Jordan. Um, Touchdown 821 was here today. Brittany Lockwood. 
Uh, who else is here? Tom Henry, of course. Robert Brandt, my buddy from St. Thomas, was here today. Welcome back. And thanks, you guys. Tom Henry, of course. Thank you for the camera order on uh, the Amazon affiliate thing. That is fantastic. So I really appreciate you using my affiliate link for that. Cool Jazz, Rob Souter was here. We had everybody here today. I really appreciate you guys seeing me. Thanks you for the thumbs ups. I'll catch you tomorrow at 5 o'clock. 35 thumbs ups and counting. Thank you. See you tomorrow at 5. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying thank you for joining me today on, on July the 23rd, 2018. We'll see you tomorrow, 5 o'clock Eastern and 8 o'clock Eastern for trivia tomorrow night. Have a pleasant evening. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye for now.